New tonight, an allegations of disability discrimination. This is Cobb County Schools that we're talking about, and that district under fire for its handling of students with special needs. And now the district is facing an imminent deadline to make policy and training changes. The state issued this report to the district outlining a series of violations surrounding a five-year-old student with Down syndrome. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn live outside the Cobb County School District headquarters. This is in Marietta. Patrick, what's the latest? Well, uh, Sean, you mentioned a pair of deadlines, two deadlines that the state has passed down to the Cobb County School District were right outside those headquarters. And by Friday, the, the district must change its educational plan for that five year old with Down syndrome. And then by mid March, the state is saying the district must make systematic changes to how the district treats students with special needs. Cobb County under fire by the state, not for their in-class teaching, but how they instruct those with special needs out of the classroom. School districts often prioritize the path of least resistance when it comes to educating students with disabilities. The student in this case is a five-year-old nonverbal kindergartner who has Down syndrome. Claire Sherburn, an attorney with the Southern Poverty Law Center on behalf of the student's mom, argued the district refused to give at-home instruction for eight weeks while the kindergartner was receiving treatment. That's potentially the most important thing that will be addressed with this case is ensuring that students who can't attend school on a short term basis for medically necessary reasons will be able to then receive receive services at home. The state just reviewed this case and said Cobb County was in the wrong and not in compliance with the Individual with Disabilities Act and unlawfully withheld instruction from the student. We know Lowe, the state director for the Division for Special Education Services, said Cobb County must make necessary changes in part writing, quote, the district shall review and revise, if necessary, its policies, practices and procedures, including but not limited to least restrictive environment continuum for alternate placements, specifically addressing hospital homebound services for students with disabilities. We feel that it's really important to keep districts accountable, both for our client in this case, but also for other students with disabilities in the Cobb County School District. And in this report, the state said that if the school district here does not comply with these changes, they can pull both state and federal funding. Now, we did reach out to the Cobb County School District about if they've made any these changes for this individual kindergartner or for the district at large. We did not get a response today. Live in Marietta tonight, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Patrick, thanks.